and welcome back to No Moria, where we have some interesting things going on. <laughs> uh, it is the sixth day of fall, and uh, the gardens are doing great. We have a good stockpile of straw coming along. We've got some stuff we can keep harvesting for a little bit longer. Um, this beginning area is pretty much all done. Um, down here is doing okay. Got all the floors done that we wanted to do. Still not quite sure. I might just go with it. We have three birch logs still, so I'm going to have to chop down some birch. But uh, we might as well finish this all in the birch. It looks pretty nice. Uh, they're chopping down trees and doing that. They're filling up these with grain seeds and whatnot. Um, kind of clearing up the clutter. Um, I may have done something a little interesting down below, and I'll get to that in a bit. That hasn't changed much. Uh, I got this filling up with grain now, so it's not in the fields. I found out I have enough iron that I smelted into steel bars, and I have enough to make a steel automation, or whatever this is. Just like pop. Trouble is, I'm thinking I might try to go for a metal golem core, but I realized that our numbers were off. We don't even have 500 tin and silver in that other place, or copper I should say. I thought we had enough, but we were short just a little bit. So we might try to get a little bit more copper and tin, uh, one or the other, and try to get a metal automation spawn so I could use that, because I think the core, the better the core, the better the automation is, like health-wise. I mean, its durability depends on its armor. I can't remember. Maybe it's the skill sets. That could be it, too. Anyways, we'll try for that maybe later. Um, with the little time we have, but I went mining to get a little bit more iron, and I may have hit something. This is why you want to be very careful when you're mining. I'm just going to slowly go down here, guys, so you start noticing there's some holes down here. And uh, this is why you have to be careful, because you, uh, you open up one hole, and it could lead to, oh, I don't know, a whole cavern system that covers the whole entire map. Yeah, look at this giant hole over here. If we just keep going, and going, and going, and going, it just goes crazy. And watch, you think it's done? No! Look, lava! <laughs> yeah, you have to be very careful, because this causes hectic with your game when you start opening giant holes like this. So I actually hit it. I saw it, and I should have avoided it. I was like, ah, oh, maybe it'll be a little one. We've been lucky with the little ones, but no, it wasn't. Um, it takes forever to scroll up and down, but here we go. So basically, all this came from this one little spot I dug into. Where is it? Uh, da -da -da -da. Where the heck did I spot that? Up here, I guess. Right here. Right here was all that. There was one piece of iron ore right here. I was like, I remember I didn't want to touch those, because that would be into there. But I chopped that one thinking it was okay, and then BAM! Everything opened up, so... It's fine. It happens. We're down here. We're getting a bunch of iron, though. Tons of iron down here. It just takes forever to get down there, mine it, and then get it back up. So that's the downfall of lots and lots of mining. <laughs> but there we go. That's all done. Now, that's not even the most interesting thing that's happened. Basically, I started recording because I could have shown you this anytime. Um, we're under attack by two different people. Well, technically, we're not under attack until I open up a door. But we, ha <laughs> we have this... Yeah, there's lots of goblins out here. I haven't even sent an insult. They just showed up on their own. We got goblin raiders, uh, goblin warrior with a hammer, goblin soldier with a steel battle axe, goblin fighter with uh, two swords, um, another goblin soldier, maybe an axe and a sword, two-headed ogre, um, another battle axe, steel uh, hammer and shield fighter, and then a steel axe and sword so yeah that's not too happy but if we go over here this is the other force we gotta deal with but actually they're probably deal with themselves mance we have 1056 food and 580 drink so it kind of uh, caused some mance to show up I guess you could say quite a few mance but uh, we're gonna see what happens when I open this door they should all try to come in at the same time and just completely and utterly just kill each other that's what I'm hoping for. Otherwise, we're gonna sit here and shoot a lot of things. Okay. So first of all, we don't have any merchants, so we don't have to worry about anything going on with this. We're gonna pull this lever, like so. I'm gonna quickly go over here. See how I dug this to the right level. <laughs> uh, 
suspend that and then we're gonna go up here real quick and suspend this so that they don't try to pick up any weapons this I should just delete, but it's already suspended. It's backup body storage. Uh, and then we go back down here really quickly because I completely forgot. We got to suspend this so they don't try to smelt stuff when the battle's going. And that should be about it. I hope. <laughs> you never know. And so here we go. They're going to go. I got already set up. I got some uh, cleaving foundations coming here just in case. I'm going to slow this down too. It was going too fast. Um, just in case something happens. And now we can go ahead and open up this one. Pull lever. Uh, and pull lever. There we go. And then of course I got the gunners coming up on the walls. But yeah, I was way down there trying to mine stuff and all of a sudden I heard the music. Came up and it was just sunset. So I was like, darn it. And I could only see like two or three mants out there. So I was like, okay, these are like warriors or whatever. Workers, not scouts. So I knew they meant business. Um, and then I was like, wait, they don't ever have music with them. And this is why. Only the goblins have music. All right, here comes a bunch of mants coming through the doors already. And then here comes a bunch of the goblin raiders. Hopefully they don't get killed all. Because we need some of them alive for these go uh, goblins and stuff to come in. Oh my goodness, though. So they're coming. Mantis died. Hopefully, I want them to kill each other, but... Now here they're coming to here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fighting each other. Before they even get into my traps. I was kind of hoping these guys would get in here, set off the trap, and have some mants in the ground. But I guess they're going to... Oh, okay. Before we forget, let's go ahead and lock them in here. I want that loot. That's a lot of steel in there. Someone go pull that lever, please. Uh, I think there's still at least one or two goblin raiders. Yes, there are. That one sadly died. Oh, there's three dead goblin corpses. Ooh. Yeah, the raiders, remember, they gotta stay alive, otherwise they ditch us. And we don't get any loots. Okay, so I got the gunners up here. Should blast at them as soon as any of them survive. Let's see how they do. I actually got some golems that spawn down below, so we'll let those guys at it. But yeah, I was like, I checked the stocks. Basically, we have no ore left to smelt because I said them. I was like, we want to make a barracks or a shiny room. I said it to repeat, and they weren't making anything. I realized we didn't have any left, and so all the copper and tin I have <laughs> is in the golem spawn room, and uh, I haven't been getting around to get into it. That so this is gonna be a little bit of an incentive to clear those guys out, so we can just fill it full of copper and tin. And are oh, you gonna take my door? Oh, you jerk! You know how long it's gonna? Oh, 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 that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> This is why we have a backup. There's two headed two two headed golems. They didn't even get through. Oh my goodness. How the heck did they survive that? I'm thinking it's only because one of them was there and so he was just on it long enough for him to I don't know. Yes, fall down the hole, please. <laughs> they probably won't. Did anyone fall down here? Oh, we got a couple. All right, let's go ahead and see how these guys fare. Oh, one did fall down. Okay. Probably died on impact. Pull that lever and let the golems go in there and see if these ironclad ones can handle up to three golems. Probably going to handle that pretty easily. And then we can restock that with some more copper and tin. I'll have to go find some more. Oh, there's more than that. There's quite a few in that little dark spot. Get them, golems. Get them. Do my work for me. Alright, so those guys are going to be good. Um, I don't want to go in that. <laughs> oh, yes! Headshot. Perfect. So we got that one's dead. We get his chest piece. See? Usually the chest piece is the one piece that always gets broken. Um, I don't want to go in there with two two-headed golems and that battle axe. And you're not shooting at them anymore, are you? Alright, let's go ahead and move you over here then. What time is it? It is 15, so we'll go ahead and just do this one real quick. Dump slingers, and just in case it goes longer, dump slingers. And then lordy dirtiers can go over here. Look at this. Death box. 
at its best. Lordly dirtiers. Okay. Commence the firing. So we got our guys down here too. We got all the steel weapons set up. We got our steel hammers, two swords, an axe, uh, steel shields. Um, like I found out we had enough on it and I was like, gosh. Do I want just to use a stone golem core or could I use a metal one? Let's go see how these guys are doing down here. Oh, they're still duking it out. How many's left? Oh, I can't even tell. Oh, it's because they're over here. Oh, there's a goblin soldier left. At least I can see that. I can't see him, but I can click on him. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there's a fighter down there too. Two-headed ogre has died. Okay. Yeah, even if I pull this lever, somebody's gonna die instantly. I just love how they love their switches so much. <laughs> yep. That's how the switch works. Okay, good. He is now dead. Um, you guys can actually go and get done with that. Let's go ahead and remove designation. Um... Yeah, they must be all dead. I don't see any moving down there. Otherwise, they'd be stepping on that. So let's go ahead and open up. No, 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 no. We do not want to do that. I was going to say, let's open that up and let them in there, but no. Um, if somebody goes here to go pick up these and somebody steps on that, they're going to fall down. I could block that off, actually. And get this going. Let's do that. That's why we have multiple doors. There we go. Safety first. Alright, the you guys, the serpentine golem has died. I can't even see them over here. That's the only trouble. I forgot to put another torch there. Um. Gosh. They're iron. We could probably deal with them. We'll let them duke it out. Once the fighting stops, then we'll go in there and clear them up. Probably set up some gunners here just to make sure we shoot at them too. Alright, so that's going. <laughs> Lapis Golem has died. Okay, what else do we need to do? You're filling these up slowly but surely with the seeds. Um, this is getting filled up with what? Cotton bolts and wool bolts. Oh, that's right. We're going to need a lot more bags. Oh, my goodness. Alright, let's go ahead and start them queued up. Uh, storage. We need so many bags. Go ahead and just keep using cotton up so I don't have to put that in a stockpile anymore. Oh, no. Quit putting it all over the floor. No. Alright. Let's make a ton of these. Please. <laughs> so that's done. Wood is stockpiled. Uh, let's go ahead and set these guys because there's only one birch left. Let's go ahead and unsuspend that. Have them start chopping that down. Everything's out here. I don't know what I'm going to do with those mattresses. I guess I could make some more beds. That'd probably be something we could do. Um, Are those wool mattresses? Holy cow, there's a lot of wool mattresses there. Why do we have so many wool mattresses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, please. There's another eight. There's 16 wool mattresses over here. Why? Why did I make so many? Oh my goodness. This is why we need to tidy things up more. So we need to make 16 applewood bed frames. Yep. Applewood bedrooms. Alright, let's go ahead and queue that up too. I guess I was planning on making all the beds. Changed applewood and I just forgot I made all the mattresses already. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can do the same thing. Oh my goodness, applewood. Good thing I have lots of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Oh man, those guys are going to be busy for a while. Um. That's fine. I have more birch. I don't really need too much birch. We'll let them redo that. Okay, I don't hear anything more dying down here. And there's still two go guys left. Alright, let's do this. Pull this lever. Perfect. Now that they're in there, I can pull this one, get our warriors in here, and then open that. That'll be just right. See, that would be something I should have done, is make... Basically, it'd be like an airlock, you know? Um, you'd have to have to go through two doors in order to get into this one area. If you happen to be on that when that flips, you're going to get squished. 
and that'd be very amusing. Somebody pull it. Come on. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Double doors, airlock, pretty much the system. That way we could have one door open, let our warriors into said airlock, and then open up another door so that they would be there when the guys came in. I'll have to remember that next time. Okay, perfect. You got that one. Let's go ahead. Let's do some melee fighting in here. Did they kill all but the one or two? I think they did. Of course, they're soldiers. They're completely decked out in iron, but we have some steel weapons and whatnot, so we can stick all of our guys down here. So it'd be quite a few versus those two. I don't see any other one popping in and out here, here but we'll find out. Stick them right here and they'll light up this corner for us. As soon as somebody pulls this lever. Lever, lever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, there is one guy in there with a hammer still. I see. Alright, um, let's go ahead and set these guys up. Why can't... Oh, it's because there's a torch there. Let's make sure that they don't get through. So let's put you guys there. Um because it could take a while for them all to get down here. Let's just set them all. And then we'll do the scolding bringers here. And then once these guys are set up, I'll bring the gunners. Otherwise the gunners are just gonna shoot them up and our melee guys won't have some exercise. Okay. Other than that, I've been waiting for ceramic stuff to be made. We don't have much uh Silica been made for some reason. Okay. There's a bunch of warriors and stuff. Let those guys come in there. Um let's make sure this is all taken care of before we open up that door. <laughs> Are you gonna go get a drink now? Gosh darn it. These gnomes. Gnomes and their drinks. Okay. That's the majority of them. Let's go ahead and set up um, some gunner positions right here real quick. Actually, uh, let's put one over here. This will be the dump slingers. Dump slingers. Dump slingers. And we'll set up this to be opened up. Because by the time they come and pull it, our gunners will have killed everybody. Guard. Be lordly dirtiers, who should be all in position still, so... Should come down here fairly orderly fashion. And there we go. Our warriors should be able to take care of them. Like I said, iron versus iron, it's okay as long as you're not overpowered and you don't have to worry about an ogre being the one that's soaking up all your hits, whereas the go the goblins are like, you know, whittling away at your guys because they're trying to bash away at those other ones, so we should be okay. Plus we got steel now. But when you're steel is just like crazy powerful, even against iron. that save. <laughs> what a good time to save. Okay. Why aren't you going in there? Why? Oh, you guys didn't see them? Alright. Um, Goblin fighter. Attack with these two, I guess, since they're not paying attention. Come on, Cleaving Foundation. Step it up. <laughs> Goblins die. Perfect. I'm going to get a lot of steel, though. There we go. That took for ever. Okay, remove. 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 And get to work, my men. Get to work. Uh, ooh, 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 before I forget. No. Do not haul all that out of there. No. Suspend. Do not. I'm going to haul all my copper and tin out of there. That would have been bad. Alright, so let's see. We can now turn this back on. And then. I can go ahead and turn these, but yeah, jeez, Luis, I can't believe that was a lot. That was a lot of guys, to be honest. I don't think, I don't know, I guess because we did a lot of, oh, he couldn't have been that much. The flooring, <laughs> all that birch flooring we put in caused the spawn that many. That seems a little ridiculous, but hey, it could be. Making everything pretty is making them want to be in here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, open up this one. It's a shame we can't do anything with the mant bodies though. 
Maybe one day we'll be able to make like a uh, chit and armor out of it. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, it would. Um, it's kind of tricky though, because they're pretty tough. So I don't know what you would rank it between. I'd say maybe if you did chitin, because it is tricky to get. I would put it maybe below or above iron. Because let's be honest, you can get iron fairly easy. All you have to do is mine it, smelt it, and then make it. But chit and armor, you have to have either a really good way of killing them. Cancel's job, cannot find path. Bob Inkle, what are you doing? And who's... Oh, you guys haven't... You guys... You guys... Someone needs to flip the switch. Come on! You got ahead of yourselves. Flip the switch and then go inside there. Oh my goodness. There we go. Someone flipping the switch. Thank you. I'm going to have to rebuild all these. Go ahead and set that up. Build. I'm not even opening that door because that's just asking for trouble. Furniture. Stone door. And a box light. They can walk around. Two, three, four, five. There we go. <laughs> Jeez Louise. That's gonna be nice though. Look at this guy even died. How the heck did you die? I can't tell. He got all his armor on still. That's a first. One time they were shooting these guys and I swear they were hitting everything but his body. Like they took off his chest piece, they took off a boot, they took off one of his arm thingies. Like he hardly had any armor left by the time they actually killed him so I don't know how they managed to kill him without losing any of the armor. But we got lots of goblin saucers coming that's for sure. <laughs> oh man. Okay, picking up the bodies, picking up the body. What is this? It's a man's right arm. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, that's going. Um, let's go ahead and open up this door, just in case. I don't want to open up that other door. I can always lock this part off. Okay, that's just rain. I thought I saw something out there. There we go. We uh, got a lot of dead parties. Oh my goodness. We'll wait for them to fill in. I want to say there's at least one left out there. There's at least one raider there. How many's downstairs? That's a ridiculous amount of goblins. Okay, they're picking up all the stone. Okay. Um. Actually, they picked up everything. Let's go ahead and pull that lever and close that off now that all the armor and stuff's picked up. No, it's not. There's. What is this? There's a goblin left hand still in there. And you're picking up the slivers still. Fine, 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 fine. Um, don't pull that. Uh, somebody's gonna get squished. Okay, we just have to be careful of that. Um, let's go ahead and get to a body count. Where is the butcher table? <laughs> there it is. Okay. These guys, I don't know what they're doing. This is, can't be completely full, is it? It is. Oh my goodness. Those are all full of hides and stuff. That can't be possible, right? There's 261 hides in there. Oh, I guess it is possible then. We will have to sell some hides. I haven't had a merchant for a while. Um, but, oh, wow. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 goblin corpses and two two-headed ogre corpses. That is insane. Wow. Alright, there we go, guys. I'm going to call it there, though, because we're going to be busy smelting stuff. That was a lot of death and stuff. And that's not even counting the mants. I think there was at least four or five of those. Um, yeah. At least one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So there we go. I uh, We're going to get back to work. I'm going to try to get us... What are you doing in there? Um, a metal golem to spawn for our steel automation. I have all the parts. I made the gears, the cylinder, the metal plates. So it's easy. It's just got to get the spawn. But I will see you guys uh, next time.